everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back to uh, Loving It on Keto, everybody. Yes, indeed. Uh, Mr. Hobble, get over here. Yeah, Harry's not doing well, you guys. He, every day he gets a little bit worse. Mm -hmm. he's, he's hobbling, he can barely get up, he can barely get down. The doctor is going to get him to an osteo um, a surgeon to take a look at what's going on. He's gonna to have to have some tests done, so. Tests? Yeah, yeah. well, you know, the MRI or CT, that, yeah. or, or uh, probably. Scans. Yeah, he's gonna to have to have something, but I think we're gonna to have to break out my old cane. And I gave my walker to my mom, so she's got it. Um, so, I mean, I helped him put his socks on today because he just could not get I his socks on. I couldn't bend down and put them damn things on. Marty, beep, beep. Darn things. Darn. Use the right words. Whew, man, don't want to get in trouble. Anyway, you guys, we are doing the Stay on Track for Weight Loss in December Challenge. Today is a 16-hour fast or eight hour eating window. It's a regular keto day. Use your macros and take a walk. Friday is weigh-in day, you guys. Today is our official weigh-in day since our Thanksgiving weekend. Yes, indeed it is. And I just wanna remind you guys that everything that you do the day before, sometimes two days prior, can have a direct effect on your weight, lack of sleep, chronic pain. My wrist is feeling much better. It is. I have my arm wrist thing off because I was going to fix our uh, electrolytes for Harry and I today, but I'm doing better. And I did take a Tylenol. I have been taking Tylenol PMs at night. Helps me sleep. Um, my toe is broken for some of you who don't know that. Um, the end joint is pretty pr pretty big. I've been using Arnica gel on that uh, three times a day and wrapping it to my toe and it's, I'll tell you, Arnica takes away bruising like you would not believe oh, yeah, and really swelling. Does. I've soaked it for three days in Epsom salts and it's doing so much better as long as I once I massage it and do all those things, it throbs for a little bit, but when I tape it to my other toe, it calms completely down. Now I'm wearing sandals again. Thank goodness I have the sandals because um, they work with my toe. As you can see, it's bandaged, but it's totally away from anything. Socks actually bind it and, and hurt it more because the socks prohibits it and kind of grabs underneath it. So I do better with sandals. Of course, my feet get cold in the morning because it's like in the 50s here in the morning and then in the 80s in the afternoon. So I wear a sweater and um, turn the heater on my feet uh, in the car once it gets warmed. Anyway, over-the-counter medicine. Harry is taking naproxen every eight hours for his hip. It's an anti-inflammatory and pain relief, but it can cause water retention. So can Tylenol, so can chronic pain, so can lack of sleep, so can stress in your life. So there's so many variables, you guys. But I need to know what you weighed today and did you gain or lose weight this week from last Friday, which was the day after Thanksgiving, to this week. Weigh in this morning and let me know, did you lose weight, did you gain weight, or did you maintain? I want to know. Yes, I do, because I'm thinking about a wonderful, huge challenge. For January. I'm not going to talk about it yet, but I've got something in mind that we're going to kick off with. So I'm excited about that. But let me share what we had to eat that was perfectly keto yesterday and was protein sparing. We had two slices of protein bread with some jam on it, no butter. I had eight ounces of a flank steak that I got from Carnivore um, Meat Box. And man, this meat is so tender and so juicy and so moist. And I eat it cold because I don't want it to get, all I have is a microwave at work, let's face it. I don't want rubbery meat. And it is perfect, perfect medium rare. Oh, it's so good, so good. I had three double chocolate chip cookies last night. Yes, I did. 
That was my dinner. Collagen, MCT oil powder, two, tables, two t tablespoons, key two creamer. My carbs were 17, they were up a little bit. My fat was 33 grams, up a little bit. Protein was down, it was 94. I had 697 calories. Here he had four ounce steak, he had sirloin steak. Uh, four ounces of chicken, two slices of protein bread, three double chocolate chip cookies, collagen, three tablespoons key to creamer. He had 33 carbs. He had uh, fat was 23 grams. wonder why you have 33. You know, sometimes when I pull the chicken, the chicken that you pull from the app, I bet you that had carbs in it and I pulled the wrong chicken. Because I've noticed that with meat, you have to be careful because it depends on how they cook it. So I think you have a little less carbs, Harry, and I'm sorry that that's doing that. But protein's 91. Calories were 788 calories. I have a feeling that's what that was. And you guys, I made my bread crumbs. I've got my bread crumbs here to use my, my protein sparing modified fast flour. And I just want to check the consistency of the cookies this morning. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Nice, yeah. Do you want this one for, uh, you have to take a pill? Yeah. And see, then it's, it's really nice. I'm going to put this right here, Harry. Okay. So I'm taking some cookies to lunch. We have cookies left, but oh my gosh, I had to put them in a container because Harry was in the kitchen. Marty was in the kitchen. He wanted cookies. He kept coming in she here. She him. Going, cookies, cookies. Oh. So yeah, I hit him last night. Put them in a thing and, and put them down in my container. So he's like, where'd you put the cookies? I said, you can't have any more cookies until tomorrow. Yes, indeed. So anyway, how did So how we many do? can I have today? Three. I'm taking three. You can have three, but that's all day. Okay. All right. All Should right. I count the cookies? No. Uh-huh. That'd be, that'd be, that'd that'd be, be stupid. Overkill. Sure. Sure. And Marty's cookies don't count anyway. Uh, I stayed the same. 174.2. Harry went down two tenths of a pound, which I'm surprised his weight is moving down. Well, I'm only instead having of a up. and... The peroxide doesn't affect me as bad as Tylenol. Well, does. Tylenol, you're taking more. You're taking you're taking two every four hours. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's just it's just the nature of the beast. Now you can have some of the breads too, Harry. Don't forget. Well, I gotta have some to take that pill with. Yes. So you pill. can. I would say. Well, you can have cookie or you can have the bread, babe. I'll have the bread because it's more surface. Yes, and that you can have. You can have like two slices. You can put some of the good good jam on it. Good, good jam, Harry. All right, leave it out. I'll put it out. And go from there. There you go. I've got to make us our electrolytes real quick. I'm making Harry a tonic, too. That, uh, they, it says on the bottle there you should drink a glass of water after taking that pill, so I drink that. Oh, the naproxen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm giving us 10 drops of magnesium. And these are the Keto Chow magne Ionic Magnesium Chloride. Um, i got to refill this. If you think about it, don't let me forget, because this little guy, I have the big, the big bottles. Okay. You guys, my pantry is so stuffed. I have no room for more of anything. Oh, well, it's ridiculous. And stuff's coming in because I ordered from Perfect Keto. I ordered from Real Life. We're ready for the I've apocalypse, got all, man. I got a beautiful haul of keto chow from anonymous the initial j person again thank you so much i've got stuff coming because this was the one time in the year where everything had extra i bought three things of orgain i bought um i bought um all the vitacost stuff i bought um who else did i buy from it's just like this one contain all these containers because they had such great buys and I know you guys have too you know because you guys have been helping share with all that stuff so uh, I yeah, appreciate really you sharing, great information but the, the good news is is they had great sales and yeah. I got all the flavors nothing was sold out the bad news is I need more cupboard space 
because I'm running out of space. Yes, indeed I am. But the good news is, is we've got enough for months, which is really good. Oh, anyway, I am gonna put this on. Yesterday, my hand was killing me. Um, I have a filing cabinet that's wider than my refrigerator. It's five drawers tall. And I keep three years of invoices in there. So the bottom drawer, November 30th, is our physical year end. It was month end. And there's a whole bunch of stuff I need to do. One of which is I go through all the folders, purge them all. I pull our Iron Mountain um, bin right to my door. And then I purge those all. Then I have to take them all out and put them in a big, long, uh, legal-sized uh, box. And then I have to move every single file that's full in all the drawers to make room at the top. You can't just pull those drawers out. They're too heavy. It took me all day to do of lifting and doing those things, even with both arms, because they're too heavy. And then fixing that whole cabinet tree. Um, so that's one of my jobs. And then, of course, doing um, uh, blanket POs and a whole bunch of other things. I have to do re finish reporting and a whole bunch of things that cause me to move my hands, type, you know, that kind of thing. So, yeah, my hand was inflamed. I could barely move it last what night. About, what about done with the decorating? I'm done with the decorating. I have those on my phone. It, 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 they don't look, it doesn't look that pretty because there's no lights on the tree. But I took pictures and um, you can put one of the of the uh, office, the yeah, parts that I decorated. Yeah, later. I will. I'll send them to you. But yeah, of our lobby um, with the Christmas tree that I did w with pictures. I, we take a picture every year of it, and then we have to bring out the pictures and place it. When you have designers that work at your facility, and they're the ones that pick it all out, they come out and they tell you where stuff goes, and then you take a picture of it, and then next year you have the picture. So, so you don't decorate it your way. You decorate it their way with the stuff that that they bought. So that's what I did. So we did all that. La -dee -da. Um, I can't get up on the ladder because it's a really tall tree. And um, so one of the um, <clears throat> one of our guys does that for us. But anyway, you guys, it is six thirty-two. It's cold outside in the morning, but then it's warm in the afternoon. So I've got. I'm dressed for both. Got a sweater. Gonna put it on. But you guys. Have a great day today. Enjoy the day. Enjoy your weather. I know some of you guys are already, you know, crazy weather. Harry needs to do the big board. Yeah, you were looking at it. Here, give it to me. So how are we doing so far? So far, so we're, far in we're, we're, in, we're in the we're green. We're in the green. We're in the green. So Woo. that's good. Yeah. yeah. That's the overall important thing that I see. I want to see a go, a gradual going down <clears throat> at least. You know. We want to stay where we're at and hopefully go down rather than go up this month. Right. So I had so. steak and chicken. Yep, you did. You know. And you've got more steak and more chicken in there that you yeah. can have, babe. So we pretty much, you know, we're really low on calories yesterday. Yeah. Well, that was a protein sparing modified fast day. Ah, okay. So today we've got to eat more food. So what's you this, need what's to this day? It's a 16 hour fast okay. and then regular keto day. All right. So you get some regular, you can have the chicken, you can have steak. Mm -hmm. um, don't have, what time are you gonna take your pill? Right, as soon as we're done. Okay, then you're gonna be breaking your fast, but there's nothing we can no, do because nothing you do need about that. It, yeah. But don't eat a whole lot. No, I just Here, need enough to get that the pill. Lights, you know. The light is on, so. Um, anyway, you guys, I was amazed at that the Protein Spray Modified Fast Bread Flour and the uh, pork rinds. Thank you so much, Judy from uh, Keto Naturopath, who uses pork rinds in all of her baking goods and stuff for sharing that. She's She cannot eat almonds either, but she uses coconut flour too. And so I had to replace the coconut flour with the protein sparing modified fast Because I can't stand it. Because Harry hates the taste. He li It's funny because we have coconut drops but it doesn't taste like coconut. No. It's more like a vanilla. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah. But maybe you're maybe you think you don't like coconut, but you really do now. 
Yeah, that's it possible. Could be, Things do happen. Yes, they do because, you know, there's uh, your tastes change. Anyway, you guys, I've got to go to work. Yes, I do. Anyway, everybody, goodbye. everybody I'm at work and I have got my electrolyte magnesium um, iodine drink I have got my uh, creamy root beer cherry cola ginger root beer need to restock my refrigerator here at work for drinks I have the rest of that flank steak and some chicken I've got a drummy and a little bit of a thigh and about four ounces of that flank steak left I've got um, some um, protein sparing modified fast bread here. And I've got three of my cookies because when my 16 hour fast is up, I plan on having a cup of cookie, a cookie or two and some hot tea, I think, with my cookies. These turned out very good, you guys. They're more like a oatmeal chewiness texture and I can't tell if that is from the um, pork rinds or from the protein sparing modified fast bread flour that I used. But either way, they're absolutely delicious. I can't wait to try them today because I think that the taste and texture and flavor will be stronger and I'm very excited about that. Anyway, you guys, I'm gonna put all this away. I'm gonna go downstairs and get a cup of coffee. Yes, indeed, and we'll be back in the next segment. And I have got a half scoop of perfect keto Cinnamon Toast and Perfect Keto Cinnamon Toast MCT Oil Powder. I only use about a third of that. I like having several cups of coffee in the morning, at least two. So I like to split it out by at least two. So it just puts too much powder in my coffee, I think. I've got a ta tablespoon of Keto Creamer in here. And I'm not adding any sweetener other than what's it sweetened with perfect keto and in the keto creamer so i'm really doing good on that respect and it tastes good to me so anyway you guys i'm gonna take my coffee up and get my day started yes indeed i am well i've got my coffee yes indeed mm -mm -mm. come a little octopus on i love him He's so cute jewelry makes me happy it's got little eyeballs on there somewhere. Little blue ones. I, I think they're way down there. Two little guys. You guys, Harry is in a lot of pain. He really is. So hopefully we can figure out what it is and what he needs to do and get some help from the um, bone doctor. Yes, indeed. As soon as we get a referral and get that all straightened out and then get an appointment. So this, this is the time of year. And of course, we've got the zombie apocalypse lockdown virus going on at hospitals too now. Huh. So, but he needs some help and I think he needs to start using my cane. I'm gonna break it out of hibernation or it's been for a while now, for two years, three years. Yeah, I was on a cane and a walker almost wheelchair bound. So I know exactly what he's going through. And um, it's hard, it's difficult. Anyway, everybody, I'm gonna drink my coffee. Somebody's coming in to work in the back. I hear them, so I've gotta get off and get to work now. Hope everybody's having a great day. See you guys in the next segment. Okay, you guys, it's 10.30 and I am having a piece of my caraway bread with the good, good, jam on it it's the raspberry and i've got myself a cup of coffee yes i do Ooh man doesn't that look delicious you guys smells good too and the caraway seeds and jam is really a good mix at least i really like it anyway you guys i'm gonna enjoy my toast and coffee break yes indeed okay i ate one already and then I remembered I needed to video. But you guys, these have the consistency today of oatmeal cookies. Yes, they do. A little crispy on the outside just, and chewy. Like really good old-fashioned oatmeal cookies. I'm just amazed at how good 
these are. And I have a cup of uh, green Tazo tea, and I'm going to sit back and enjoy my cookies and tea. Yes, indeed, I am. Look how cute the pups are. I love these placemats, so thank you so much again for the gift. And I'm going to enjoy my cookies. Hey, good morning. Yeah, breaking out the December cups, it's time. Oh yeah, that is so good. Now, Wendy made some of these little cookies yesterday. Oh, today they are freaking great because, well, I like them soft, but you know, like anything, you let them sit long enough and they get, they get better with age. Mm. <clears throat> that is really good. And she's got some other ideas too besides just this. This was an experiment she did to see if she could do it without any kind of flour. Making her own kind of flour, you know? And it worked out fantastic. I mean, it really, really worked. So I'm going to go have my cookies and enjoy my coffee because it's time. I'll see you guys later. Change of plan for lunch. We got to order uh, from Wildflower Cafe and I got a lettuce wrapped. And this is a bacon rare roast beef smoked turkey with coleslaw lettuce wrapped protein sandwich and just a side Caesar with no croutons um, with Caesar dressing on the side, you guys. And I'm having that with my ginger root beer. That was our holiday. We got to choose our meal and then they delivered it. So there's some kind of dressing for the sandwich, kind of a Russian rye, I think it was right there. Anyway, you guys, I'm so excited because this looks amazing. This looks amazing. Anyway, that's what I am having for lunch. So I guess I'll take my turkey and steak home with me and have this instead. Hey, having a short lunch today. Uh, I don't even stand up all that long. So uh, what I'm having, I'm having some steak and I'm having some chicken. Let's see if I can show you guys this stuff so you can see it. So it's pretty, pretty simple. I'll probably put a little mustard on there, and that's probably going to be about it. But it's four ounces of chicken and four ounces of steak. It's just like what I had yesterday. If you guys remember what I had yesterday. Whoa, where are you going? Come back here. <laughs> Things got a mind of its own sometimes, you know. Anyways, I'm going to go eat this. Um, I'm not having any soda pop with it today because I'm going to have coffee. So I'm having some warm coffee. And I just so happen to... Have it right here. Another cup. So I get down another pill. Oh, yeah. All right, you guys. I'll talk to you later. Hey, everybody. I am home. I had a date with my daughter after work, Felicia, and we went out and had just a really nice time. Um, I'm home now, and I had some Amazon purchases and some other purchases for Black Friday that I got, but I want to share my Santa. I got a Santa holding a peacock. How could I resist? And anyway, come look at my Santa. He's beautiful. You guys, I got him on Amazon Black Friday. Look at this. <coughs> He's got a peacock. <coughs> Damn it. He's peak. Darn it. He's peacock colored. Look at him. <coughs> Sorry. Isn't he beautiful? Look. Ooh, is neat, huh? isn't he pretty? Yeah. I was so excited about Santa holding a peacock. So he's gonna go over by my peacock theme. Look at look at the peacock. With some real peacock feathers. Santa Very small peacocks. So cute. Well, it's, you know, Santa's little helper. Yeah. So I was very excited. It's Windy Hill Collection. 
<laughs> he looks just like it. Uh -huh. And I was very pleased. It's very well made, you guys. So that made me feel good. But I just wanted to share that. I got something else that I want to share, but I'm going to put my Santa over here real quick. I have been ordering, like I said, my uh, keto staples. And this is a keto staple, I think. Stuff's starting to come in. Did you guys order keto staples? Did you guys order collagen and electrolytes and all the things that you need for your uh, keto cupboard like we do? So I ordered, come on out. Oh, real light immunity, Harry because it's okay, cold and yeah. flu season. This is the blackberry, which was your favorite. Yep. I really liked the um, pineapple orange. Yeah. It's yummy. That's good, that's good. But I also ordered you two, not one. Man, they pack. You know, these guys know how to put these things in these. It's whatever you can put in it, it's one price. So they know how to put this stuff right in. I got you two mixed berry. Good, because that's my fave. Yes, it is. So I mean, I suck that stuff up. I know. So tomorrow, I need you to take... You guys, if you ever have powder in the bottom, like Harry's got right here. Can you see the, the bottom? Put your water inside, shake it up, and then pour it into a cup. And you'll have all that powder, which is like your scoopful. So... Anyway, I'm excited. I got my real light. I still have, um, I've ordered stuff from Perfect Keto. I know it's like every other one. Terry's like, oh, we should get that. We should get that. We should get that. Anyway, you guys, I think that's it for packages today. So, I made those cookies. <laughs> These cookies are really good the next oh, yeah, day. Man. They're a little bit firmer. But they're still moist and delicious. Look at this. They're still moist and delicious. These are great cookies. I cannot believe. Oh, man, that smells good. Mm, maybe I'll have to have a bite. No, I'll wait. I'll wait. These are, look how soft they are. They are really good cookies, you guys. I am amazed, amazed at pork rinds and protein spray and modified fast bread made these delicious cookies. They are delicious. Yeah, me too. They're like eating homemade oatmeal cookies. That chewiness with just a little bit on the outside. They just have that oatmeal cookie taste. Anyway, you guys, I am going to make, remember I made a pumpkin cheesecake and raspberry cheesecake in the Remkins? Well, I'm going to make, uh, at work, they left these beautiful beautiful the guys were gonna throw it away and i said don't throw them away look at the size of the blueberries they're 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 beautiful they're beautiful and i said if nobody wants them i'll take them home so you know what i'm gonna do i washed they've been washed they're ready to eat i'm putting them in a bowl and i'm gonna make a blueberry compost and i've decided i've got vanilla keto chow and I'm gonna make vanilla cheesecake with the blueberry. I'm gonna make a blueberry compote and I'm gonna make the pumpkin spice cheesecakes recipe that I got from Keto Chow. It's uh, Taffney, as Chef Taffney Elrod. So it's the same recipe. Instead of the pumpkin spice, I'm using vanilla, okay? So I'm gonna make this and I'm gonna double it because we need, we each need two remkins in our life, mom, Harry and I. So I'm gonna make this, but I'm gonna make it vanilla. I'm gonna make a compote out of this. And basically to make the compote out of that, I'm gonna add water. I'm trying to think, let me look at this. Hmm. I could do a whole cup. Let me see what a half cup does. Let me see how much water that gives. Yep, I'm gonna do a half a cup. Then I'm gonna get, if you move over here, let me get some um, 
I'm gonna use allulose. And the reason why I'm using allulose is because allulose gets thick and gets like a syrup. And that's what I want. So I'm gonna turn these on. I'm going to put um let me think. Uh, allulose is one third less sweet than sugar. Two tablespoons. You guys can use the sugar of your choice, but I'm putting two tablespoons of allulose in the blueberries. I'm gonna bring them to a boil. I'm gonna put it on simmer, and then I'm gonna get our um, cheesecake made. It's super simple, really quick and easy, and it's I want to taste it to see if that's what flavored cheesecake I want for my holiday dinner in December. Yes, indeed. So let me put this back. I need my um, mixer. And I need, I'm doubling the recipe, okay? I'm making two batches. So I'm gonna get four eggs. So I remember that it takes eggs. <laughs> I forgot the very first time, although it tasted absolutely scrum dilly. It did. It without, tasted it great. It was absolutely delicious. But it does take uh, four eggs. Careful because there's a hot stove behind you, dear. I know. I feel it. Four eggs. Yay, got the eggs going. One serving of keto chow, so I've got two. It's got, let me see, let me see. One teaspoon pure vanilla, so I'll need two, two of everything. I like Molina, got Molina brand. One, two, excuse me. I am gonna put uh, New York cheesecake flavoring in because my taster is not as good as yours. Um, I'm gonna put a half a teaspoon of it in and this is Cabela. It's it's Gramberry, and you guys can get 5% by typing in Gremlin as your code. Gramberry, and it's the New York Cheesecake version two. Yes, indeed it is. I'm gonna put in about, with my French vanilla, Stevia. I'm gonna put some sugar in here. Twenty. I'm gonna put cinnamon in. Let me see how this is doing. I'm just gonna let that boil. The berries will pop and cinnamon is half a teaspoon, so I need a whole teaspoon of cinnamon. Whole teaspoon. A whole teaspoon going in there. I'm just gonna pop it and give it just a little bit of a lot. Get that going on there. Got that, got that. I need to weigh the sour cream, so let me get the scale. Let's see how this is doing. Turn down the fire just so that it's, there we go. Okay, take the sour cream. 
16 ounces. Pretty close, huh? It's not gonna hurt it. Mm -hmm. So, 16 ounces, a cup. Boy, those blueberries smell good, don't they? Yep. Man. Okay. And I need the spoon holder real quick for this. Um. I didn't have Harry take out. I've got original Philadelphia cream cheese. So let me put this down. It takes four ounces, and this is an eight ounce block, so that's easy peasy. That's what I like about this cheesecake, you guys. This is a super duper easy, easy recipe. Easy recipe. Look at the blueberries, how pretty they're turning. Oh, yeah, check it out. I'm gonna let them boil and make a beautiful blueberry compote that I can put on top. Do you think I should make blueberry out of it? Let me see this real quick. Let me get this going. cheesecake let me tell yeah, you yeah you gotta do this this I'm is serious. gonna be compote for the top because that I'm telling you is heavenly cheesecake all day long heaven heaven if heaven. you guys are in Canada and you, you know I know the stuff's really hard to get there but they do have a couple of stores I guess yes, in Canada they do. do sell this stuff Excuse if me. you're going to get any and if you like cheesecake Get this. this. That really, it really, 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 really tastes really freaking good. good. Cheesecake. Oh my gosh. Yes. Man. If it tastes like that when it's done. That, oh, I'm telling you. And then I'm going to put a, a blueberry compote on top oh, and yeah, put it in the refrigerator. Idea. Yeah, I'm glad Man. you put it inside because. I am too because that does not really, need really. anything. No, it doesn't. It does not need anything. Okay, you guys. Man, that was good. Ooh. That was just delicious. I, I want to leave room for my compote. Yeah. You're going to make a cap, right? Yes. I'm going to have to take some out of the first one. I put too much. It's flowing pretty good. Man. And talk about easy. That was really good. Man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If you're blueberry, if you're vanilla, if you love cheesecake, this cheesecake is for you. Oh yeah, easy. Wow. 
I, I, I'm amazed at how good that is. I think adding the cheesecake flavoring, the Capella one from, from Granberry Farms just adds to it. Oh, well. But oh my gosh, I mean, like I could sit here with a spoon and be a happy camper right now. Spooning this out. Every day. That was too good. You know, that's something you're gonna, you're gonna have to make that. Every day of the week. You're gonna have to make that for Christmas. That's why I'm making it. Because it's really, now, really, because really it's good. Really, really good. No, I, I, that's my vote. If I go you into know, hospital, I'm gonna expect to see a couple of these a day. Well, it's easy. So here's the deal. This is so easy, and I've made it three different flavors. This, or none. This is the best so far. And it's vanilla, you guys. Yeah. And I am a pumpkin spice girl from way back. We are not, we, we're gonna share this. That's fine. We're, we're, we're gonna share yeah, this. Yeah, okay, thank don't, you. Don't get rid of it. I won't. Do not clean that dish. <laughs> but what I've got here, I need another spoon. How am I, this one's got just a little bit too much. Of course, I could always just eat it because it's that delicious. Oh, I know it, man. It is just that delicious. Man. She's mm. eating. No, I am the cook. And the cook must taste the food. Man. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm a documenter. I'm documenting you everything out of my that way? you're doing. Look at this. And the blueberries have done their thing while we've been waiting. Good, don't they? Okay, you guys, we're preheating the oven and then we'll come back and put it in. But Harry and I Stay have. Still. Harry and I have an appointment with the bottom yeah, of the that blender. While we're waiting. Yes. Oh, yes. Gotta go. We're gonna arm wrestle now. See you guys in a minute. I'm ready. Okay, on your mark, get set, go. Oh, I win. Cheated. Woo! I won. I'm thinking I'm gonna put just a little bit of xanthan gum into the recipe just to get that nice and thick. It tastes delicious, oh, yeah, but man. let me tell you, make a double batch of the vanilla, put it in a pie tin, and then make a compote. Use cherry, raspberry. Raspberries and blueberries and strawberries are keto. They have the lowest carbs. And you guys, you put that over that, you put some whipped cream on there and people are gonna eat this up. This is, I am, the pumpkin spice cheesecake is phenomenal. But some people don't like cheesecake. Uh, pumpkin flavored. The raspberry, awesome. This bar none. Oh gosh. Is heaven. Oh yeah. I am not lying in any way, shape, or form. I thought, well, I'll do vanilla. You know, vanilla. Plain vanilla. Plain, boring. No. Not this one. Not this one at all. Not one little oh, it's, bit. It's really Let me tell you. Good. It is fantastic. So, I don't know. Let me see this. Here, look at this. While well, the oven is... It's, it's boiling down, and you guys, this tastes just like, oh my gosh, it's fabulous. So, I love blueberries. I love them. And I think that, I don't know, I don't think I'm going to need xanthan gum on that. I'm kind of, I'm torn between putting xanthan gum in it and not. Huh. Dilemma, dilemma. So that was half a cup of water, probably a cup of blueberries, maybe just this is a teaspoon, you guys. There goes our pipes in the bathroom. Now let me see. Oh yeah, that was perfect. That was what it needed. Let me tell you, you guys, this is going to be fantabulous. That's a new word for me, fantabulous. Yes, indeed. That's fantastic and terrifically 
delicious all yes. into one. Uh, my oven doesn't sing when it's ready. It makes a sad little beep. Oh, so no, it when it gets heated, pitiful. It is. I'm jealous. Some of you guys have ones that sing. Do 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 do. Not mine. Mine does not sing. No, it does not. So I'm just gonna let that rest and thicken up. Man, guess what we're having for dinner? Oh, it's that over there. Can you say cheesecake? Yeah. I had boiled shrimp at the Crab Shack with Felicia, Harry. We're going to have to go there because they have naked, naked wings. Yeah. And they've got, they do the whole, they put the butcher paper on and give you a whole crab boil. Oh, really? Lobster crab, the whole spiel. Yeah, Lori would love it. They had jambalaya. I mean, their menu was beautiful. So, when you live in a landlocked state like Arizona, you can't take that stuff for granted. Not at all. That's better. Man, I am so jazzed about this. If something tastes this good raw, you know it's going to be fantastic. Honey, don't. Oh, it's my bad hand. Be careful. Okay, excuse me. Excuse me. Don't. Excuse me. 20 minutes to heaven. Yes, indeed. I'm very excited. Anyway, you guys can find it. It's under the Pumpkin Spice Caramel Cheesecake. It's on the www.ketochowxyz under recipes. Get the Pumpkin Spice Caramel Cheesecake. I have switched out. This is uh, for one, you get three, so I want to double it. I doubled it, but use the vanilla. Do everything else and add the cheesecake flavor. and some French vanilla. This New York cheesecake just, I mean, it's like out of the park delicious. Like move over cheesecake factory. There's a new kid in town delicious. It's really that good. Cannot tell a lie that it's delicious. Now let's look at my compote real quick. That's where I want it to be. See, it's nice and thick. That's gonna go on top. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to put this. Oh, it should cool down. I want to make sure it's cool. And when these cool, we're having cheesecake for dinner. You know, that's the keto lifestyle. What can I say? You can have cheesecake for dinner and drop a pound the next day. Yes, indeed. Sally, would you like something, honey? Would you like something? She hears about the cheesecake. Yes, your cheesecake, I know. Now, if I give you some carnivore chicken jerky treats, we take this in the other room? Yeah? Maybe I will. You go take it. Come on. There it goes. These are the chicken, chicken jerky treats. Yeah, she likes those a lot. She loves these. Yeah. And they stay at nice, you know? She's loved everything. The minute I take my carnivore crisps onto the couch for Harry and I to have as a little treat, she's right there. Oh man, she's, she's right, right there, face. man. And she's like, hi, how are you? Anyway, you guys, while we are getting this cooked, we're gonna go eat the rest of the stuff that is in the blender. And we will see everybody in the next segment when it's cheesecake. Yes, indeed. Okay, mister. Can you please take out the cheesecake? Be careful when you bend, Harry, with your hip. It's sitting. If I stand up for a little while, then... Ooh, just... look at those. Wow, oh, yeah, that oh man. They look like they're ready? Yes, they're ready. Look at those. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. They look good, don't they? Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'm going to take these and get them off the hot pan and off the hot stove so that they can cool down quicker. So I can put the um, compote on it that I've got cooling over there. It's 
going to be delicious. I'm so jazzed. These look delicious. Oh my gosh, they smell. smell I that. know, it smells mm. fantastic. Mm -mm -mm. It smells like sugar cookie bakery. Yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah. That's what it smells like to me. Man. Mm mm mm. Hey you guys, we gotta be patient just a little bit longer. I think I'm gonna put this on because they're they're both warm right now. You know, I'm a blueberry girl, so you can never have too much blueberries. You guys can do raspberries, you guys can do strawberries. It's such an easy, easy, delicious way to get. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This has thickened up really nice, hasn't it, Harry? Mm-hmm. Oh, gosh, it smells so good, you guys. Yeah, it's, uh, makes you want to just grab one and eat it right now. Yep. Mm-mm-mm. Move your camera, honey. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. This would make the best jam ever. Matter of fact, I think when I want jam next time, I'm just making my own. Oh, yeah. Because this... I wish I had some whipped cream left, but we don't. But man, put a dollop of whipped cream on there, and you have got fantastic blueberry cheesecake. Or actually, it's vanilla cheesecake with blueberry compote on top. And you don't even have to have the blueberry compote because the cheesecake is that good. Oh, yeah. Yes, it is. Okay, you guys, we'll come back when it's cheesecake. Cheesecake with a blueberry topping. Ooh, yeah. You ready for the taste test, Harry? Mmm. I am. Oh. It is taste test. First, smell. Oh, man. Going in for the big dive. Oh, yeah, that feels good. Oh, yes, it does. And you guys, overnight, look at that. Oh, yeah, look at that. Mm, look inside there. Can you see? Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh my goodness sake. Really good, huh? And this is fresh. You guys, by tomorrow, this is going to amplify. It's going to be heaven, heaven in a bowl with some blueberries on top. Mm. Okay, Harry. My turn? Much, yes, it's your turn. You get one bite. Okay. Ooh, that smells really good. Can you see? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, seriously. It's got this really creamy. I'm going to have one more shot. I'm doing it again. She told me not to have any more, but I'm having another bite. Oh, yeah. That's really good. Oh, man. <laughs> and the magic hand comes in to move the food away from Harry. Yes, indeed. Come over here, babe. Whoops, watch out. <laughs> That's movie magic when the hand can come in yeah, and grab, grab the food it. right away. Okay, you had two. I get, I get two. Oh, man. And Sally gets none. She's mm. all upset. She is. Hmm. There's some that was stuck on my. Isn't that my good? Face. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Mm. Really, that's uh, one of your uh, one of the uh, better. Um, what would you call it? Ramekin dessert? Or what would that's you call it? That's the best. This cheesecake it was bar none. Oh yeah, the it's best really really good recipe for many cheesecakes that yeah. I've ever had with the keto chow. Super easy, super simple, super delicious. I love the pumpkin. I love it, don't get me wrong, but you guys, this is really good. And a lot of people, some people I know don't like pumpkin. 
I didn't like pumpkin at all until I became an adult and became vegan. So now I love it and adore it. And Sally says, okay, mom, stand it in the place. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. We'll be done in just a minute. It's my turn to talk, please. Okay. Anyway, you guys, I'm very excited. We're going to try to save some of these <laughs> for tomorrow. <laughs> They're going in the refrigerator, Harry, for tomorrow. Yes, indeed they I thought are. we're having those for dinner. You can each, we each get one oh, yeah. for dinner. All right, fine. Anyway, everybody, please remember to like, subscribe, <laughs> ring the little bell, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Sally wants to say good night. <laughs> Say good night. So says everybody leave so I can eat. We'll see you right here tomorrow. Good night, everyone. What's the matter? You want what? Carnivore dog to the rescue. You want another piece of chicken? Yeah, she likes that chicken. What? Wow, she ripped. But could you inhale it? Yes, you were. See, you were chewing and running at the same time. Wow. So we gotta get back there right away. Uh, I know. <laughs> she just loves this stuff. Okay, one more piece. One.